so students index numbers if you want to learn index numbers problematic means you need to remember like around five formulas ma the first important formula is lasperi's index method okay so here what does the formula mean p01 is equal to p1 q0 divided by p0 q0 into 100 this is lasperi index number formula next you are having pashi's index method here you will learn uh, what is the formula p1 is equal to sigma p1 q1 by sigma p0 q1 into 100 okay so this is the patchy's formula next you are having fisher index okay fisher ideal index number what is the formula this formula plus means whatever the p1 q0 divided by p0 q0 into p1 q1 divided by p0 q1 under root into 100 got it and uh, fourth one is marshall edgeworth method what is the formula for this p1 q0 divided by p0 q0 plus p1 q1 divided by p0 q1 whole whole division okay so here we are doing p1 q0 plus p1 q1 divided by P zero Q zero plus P zero Q one into hundred. So this is Marshall Edgeworth method. Okay, students. And uh, the last formula you are having, Dorbish or Bowley's method. They can ask Dorbish method or Bowley's method. So one and the same. Half of sigma P one Q zero divided by P zero Q zero plus sigma P one Q one divided by P zero Q one into hundred. So this is the five formulas. you are having ma okay so without learning this five formulas you can't learn okay so here you will have ma base year and current year you will have okay in this unit base year is old year old year current year is new year in base year you will have price and quantity in current year you will have price and quantity so base year price we will call it as p0 base year quantity we will call it as q0 got it and uh, current year profit we, price we will call p1 current year quantity we will call it as q1 so this you need to remember base year is nothing but old year okay so now i will give discuss a question so that you will easily get to know got it students see here the question is commodity a b c Okay, in two thousand five, price is three four two. In two thousand five, quantity is eight two four, eight two ten. In two thousand ten, price is six five three. In two thousand ten, quantity is ten six two. Got it? So base year is old year. Old year is two thousand five. So P zero is this, Q zero is this, P one is this, and Q one is this. Got it? So how we will do the solution? same commodity same line you are having here p0 is 3 4 2 q0 is yeah, 8 2 p1 is 6 5 3 q1 is 10 6 2 got it so in this method we will discuss all the formulas at a once okay so what is the last series formula ma sig uh, Sigma P one Q zero divided by P zero Q zero into hundred. Got it? So here we need to learn P one Q zero. We need to do. Okay. Next keep a column. P one Q zero. So P one is this. Q zero is this. So P six into eight. Got it? Six into eight is equal to. Then you will get forty eight. Same. Five into two. Ten. Three into ten, thirty. And the formula or whatever the required thing we want, we need to make it as a columns here. Okay, there is not at all having any specific columns like that. So whatever the columns we are having, whatever the formulas we are having, that only we need to do. Next to P zero Q zero we want. Okay, so P zero Q zero column. P zero is this. Q zero is this. So three into eight. So three into eight is equal to twenty-four. Four into two, eight. Two into ten, twenty. Okay. 
so next we are doing fascist formula also no what is the formula of this p1 q1 we are not having so p1 q1 also we need to calculate it okay so p1 q1 so p1 is this q1 is this 6 into 10 60 6 into 5 30 3 into 2 6 got it and uh, last formula p0 q1 also we want okay so p0 q1 also we want so p0 is this q1 is this so 3 into 10 30 4 into 6 6 fours are 24 2 into 2 4 like that you need to do this four columns okay why we are doing this four columns p1 q0 p0 q0 p1 q1 q0 q1 because that values only we are having in the formulas no just make a total of this all this four one two three four just make a total of 48 plus 10 plus 30 which it means 88 okay so here I am writing P1 Q0 is equal to 88. Next P0 Q0 is equal to 24 plus 8 plus 20. That is 52. P1 Q1 is 60, 70, 80, 90, 96. P0 Q1 is 30 plus 28 then it is 58 okay so we have calculated this one so let's just substitute in the pro pharma so first formula what we are having ma first we are having las Perry's formula what is the formula of las Perry? we are having sigma p1 q0 divided by okay sigma p1 q0 divided by sigma p0 q0 into 100 just keep a heading of that okay sigma p1 q0 how much we got 88 q0 p0 we have got 52 which it means 88 divided by 52 into 100 like that you need to do it okay 88 divided by 52 into 100 that is 169.2 169.23 okay so this is last Perry's formula next you are having Pashis Pashis formula is nothing but sigma p1 q1 divided by sigma p0 q1 into 100 okay how much we got p1 q1 here 96 p0 q1 58 which it means 96 divided by 58 into 100 like that you need to do it okay 96 divided by 58 into 100 165.51 okay like that just substitute all the formulas okay so how you will substitute all the formulas for example here i will show some uh, material answer so that you will get to know here we are having Fisher index ma. Okay, what is the Fisher index formula? Under root P1 Q0 divided by P0 Q0 into P1 Q1 divided by P0 Q1 into 100. So P1 Q0 is 202070. P0 Q0 is 1660. So 2070 1660 into means whatever the values we have got that we need to do it. Okay, so we whatever the values we have got it is just substitute in that. Okay. So just I am seeing an example thing how you need to substitute okay. So like that after substituting it you do this divided by this you will get this. Then you need to do this divided by this you will get this okay. After doing this 1.247 into 1.218 you will do means some amount you will get okay. For that you need to do 100 okay. So 1.247 into 1.218 after getting that answer you need to do root for example here 1.247 into 1.218 okay if you do means you will get this much so you need to do root like this here you need to press it 1.21 into 100 means you will get 
okay 123.3424 okay so like that you need to substitute it first you need to substitute the values then you need to convert it into the root answer after becoming all substitution you need to add root to that answer that's it okay students so i will give some homework problems you practice that okay so here calculate lasperi pashi and bowley's method they are asking so quantity they have given rate they have given base year means q0 p0 current year means q1 p1 okay just substitute that in the table use formulas and draw the uh, and draw the answers okay and write the answers okay so take a screenshot and do this homework okay and the next here also you are having ma here also they have as lasperi pashi and marshall edgeworth also they have an base year p0 q0 current year p1 q1 got it so like that you need to do it okay ma so next uh, thing is uh, i am giving whatever the questions i am having that i am giving just substitute it this question also homework you can do it okay see here question in this question they have given the value but they have didn't give the price okay so q0 they have given q1 they have given but they had didn't give the values okay then that time what we will do to get the p1 p q0 p0 or p1 50 divided by 5 48 divided by 8 18 divided by 6 like that if you do means you will get p0 so 50 divided by 5 means 10 48 divided by 8 is 6 18 divided by 6 is 3 like that we need to calculate if the value was given we need to divide that value with quantity to get the po or q or p1 or q1 got it so like that you need to do is so just have a look of all this so that will be enough from second unit ma in question if you have learned the formulas means easily you can score 12 marks any type of question here so this is also you see question number 23 total cost they have given to convert p0 p1 they have given we want q0 and q1 but we we are not having q0 so at that time what you will do 100 divided by 18 600 divided by 14 480 divided by 16 then you will get the q0 values and q1 values then later substitute under uh, whatever the formulas they have asked okay so try to do all this homework problems and uh, let me know the answers in the comment section and if you like this video then do like share comment and subscribe to our channel and let me know whether my explanation is good or not just is what the thing in business statistics calculation only ma okay if you remember the formulas and if you remember the calculation part then it will be easy okay you easily you can score oh great okay no need of having anything okay so we are near to 50k subscribers just do like and subscribe to our channel if you think this channel is worth it then do like share and subscribe to our channel and share with all your friends and groups okay this video will be useful for them also see you all in next video bye bye students